up and out and rebound to Dunleavy. He'll push it himself. Look down, look down floor to Richardson. Jason three is in. Well, a little early offense there, and Spree gave him a little bit of room because he kept that live dribble in his hands. See, that keeps your defender at bay a little bit. Gassell launching. Right. Richardson with the rebound. One thing, regardless of the score, and Jason's been on the glass all season long. Great numbers for a guard, hovering around eight boards a game. Double team there, and you're in trouble. Yeah, Beer trying to throw it off of Hassel's leg. It goes to Richardson. An assist! How about that? As he hits the three. The ball almost goes out of bounds. A tightrope walk on the sideline by Richardson. What a feed from Van Exel to Dunleavy. It was started by Nick's defense. And now the steal by Richardson in on KG. Corkscrewing it in. What a delivery there. And the big three of 21 of Minnesota's 25 points right now. Final minute of the first quarter. With the Warriors up three with the ball. Okay, I, I'd be tempted to post up Dunleavy. But when Chase. Richardson is hot as he is, let him just shame him real well. Yes. Tip up and out, Garnett. That appeared to be above the cylinder. No that, call. That's goaltending. Richardson with the deflection. And then Richardson with the touch. Just take care of business. They missed the goaltending call. The Warriors just. And I, and I made a point that he's taking more attempts than Garnett, but hard to pass up when you're shooting it like that. And he's really not going crazy on things. There's our key matchup right there to begin the second half. Sprewell and Richardson continuing what they did in the first half. The bench with an ice pack, but he is okay to come back in the second half, we're told. There's that staggered screen for Jay Rich. And Richardson has been the bailout man for the Warriors. Being unique with all the skills he has at seven feet. We talk about Dirk Nowitzki, certainly an oddball in that regard because they can shoot those threes. But Garnett, the most unique of all of them. Richardson following his own miss. JR there to put it back in. I love the way he used his body to get between. Good job by Richardson to close out. Like he said, just yeah. don't let him stand there and shoot the ball. Jason over Hoiberg and before Garnett could get there. Nice mid post move by Jason Richardson who has his number 23. Because he had the shot blocker on the other side of the rim momentarily. Jason a quick move there puts it in. And a lot of contact, no call. Looking for Garnett. Cassell's going to go himself. Give it to Hoiberg. Long rebound. Richardson's got it. They come up with a defensive stop, and now the Warriors look for the lead. With a minute to go. 12 second game and shot clock differential winding down the ball game. Van Exel and Cardinal. Van Exel, doubled. Cardinal, open. Jumper, rimming out. Richardson tip, no. Deep near the rebound. The Warriors can play to win the game here. The reason I said a minute is because they had the scoreboard wrong, and they had a minute too. They took it off. There's no scoreboard except our own. No shot clock. Van Exel down the lane. Kick it to Richardson for the win. Three. Got it. With two tenths left. How about that? Jason Richardson buries the triple with two tenths left. And it was JR's offensive rebound and Dampier giving the Warriors an extra possession. And what a thrilling win this would be on the road. Two tenths left. It would take a tip to win it. The Warriors have this one. Just enough time remaining for Jason to get the shot off. He hits the three, and they didn't even have to play defense down the stretch. This is our next tough play of the game. Van Exel drawing, kicking, and Richardson striping from beyond the arc, and the Warriors winning the ball game 98-95. Just perfectly executed, leaving no time left for the T-Wolves to even come back and attempt the shot to tie it, and Jim Barnett alongside JR. Take it, Jimmy. All right, thanks a lot, Bob. Is this the biggest win of the season to go out on the road? A lot of road games coming up, and you come in here against a great team, and you get it. Yeah, it is one of the biggest wins. We had a couple of games like that against Sacramento and Houston where it came right down to the wire. And um, I just remember the last time I had the ball in my hand, I missed the shot. But this time, I know I wanted to nail it. Tell us about the matchup between you and Spree. He's a terrific player. He's a crafty guy. He got off to a great start, as did you. Yeah, I mean, Spree was, he's a superstar. And he gonna be, you know, the type of guy to get everybody hot, get everybody involved in the game. And that's what he did. He took the game over in the beginning. And I knew that didn't respond either to shut him down or score points so it could even out. How are you able to get off to such a great start tonight? Hit two threes immediately, and your scoring was consistent throughout. Well, I just want to bring a lot of energy. You know, we got a, a lot of road games, and it's a tough place to play up in here. And uh, my teammates was really a little drag because, you know, it was a long flight yesterday. But I just wanted to have a lot of energy on my team as much as I can. 
Minnesota has a lot of firepower, but you stayed it off. They shot 14 of 21 from the field in the third quarter, and yet it was still a one-point ball game. How did you withstand all of that? Well, we, we tried to do our best job with Kevin Garnett because he's our star player, and he could do so many things for them. And uh, we tried to just focus in on him and make other guys beat us, and uh, they kind of did a good job with him scoring and other guys scoring too, but we just did a great job on the team defense. Prior to hitting that game-winning shot, you kept the ball alive. How did you do that by tipping the ball? Well, I was just trying to get the ball in play anyhow, maybe try to get a tip dunk or nothing, but uh, I missed it, and Dempier got the ball, and next thing you know, I'm open for the shot. Well, you're open for the shot at the right time. Did you feel like you had to take a three because you never moved in? No, I didn't feel like I had to have a three, but uh, it was just so open that I had to take it. And, you know, when the game on the line, you got to shoot when the, the clock's going down. You know, a couple of weeks back, you had a chance to win in Sacramento. You didn't make that finger roll. It's got to feel pretty good to hit a clutch shot like that against this club. Yeah, it does. I mean, especially being so far away from the basket with the game on the line, it felt great. And uh, I'm just glad we won the game. Well, congratulations, Jason, on a great team effort and a great win. A nice way to start the road trip because they got a lot of them coming up. Bob, let's go back to you. Jason Richardson leading the way, and the Warriors win it by three. What a way to start the road trip.